I go to the movies. Yeah. So uh I saw I saw the the new the new Disney movie. That could be any of them, right? But it was also the the Disney a Pixar movie. <gasps> Who would have even thought it could happen? And uh it's not a sequel, it's a new one. And uh it is called uh Onward Wayward Son or something. And it stars blue, pointy-eared fellows. Oh, but uh, there was a short in front of it. There's usually shorts in front of the Pixar movies, but this one wasn't a Pixar short. It was, you're never going to believe it. It was a Simpsons short. What? Isn't that crazy? Because they're owned by the Disney now. But I was, I was really surprised, because when's the last time you saw a short by like an established thing in front of a movie. <laughs> it was pretty interesting. So it was a, uh, it was, it was, there was no words and it starred Maggie. It was a Maggie short. And I thought it was pretty entertaining. I, it makes me want to watch some, some Simpsons. I haven't watched the Simpsons in a long time. They still keep going somehow. <laughs> I haven't watched them in a, in a long time, but it's like, man, made me think about it. But, uh, yeah, so there was that. But then the other, the other movie, Onward, it, uh, I don't know. I mean, it was, it was entertaining. It, there was some, like, you know, some funny parts and, you know, some interesting little action parts and stuff like that. And, uh, but it, it's a movie that gives you the, the brother feels. I never had an actual brother there, so I had some really close friends. I have some really close friends, but I never, I never, uh, had an actual brother, so I don't know anything about all that. So if you, you have a brother, this movie is for you. But it's also about the, the daddy died early. Uh, feels and if you've seen the trailer for it it's about uh they these brothers they get a, a spell that can bring their dead dad back but it doesn't work and he's only a bottom half which is kind of awkward and weird <laughs> but it leads to some funny things you know obviously he, you have to just like let go with your brain this is a weird fantasy movie, and obviously, you can't think of it too much because it's like, okay, if he's only legs, he doesn't have a brain. So how is he? How are these legs sentient to know what's going on? And sometimes it seems like the legs can hear, and sometimes it seems like they can't. <laughs> like it's walking around blind, you know, it doesn't know what's going on. But so you just gotta let the let go of all that. You just gotta let it go and say. You just gotta watch it for the the cool action things and the funny things that happen from time to time. That did pretty good. Oh yeah. The... Oh. Oh. Oh my. An embarrassing human moment. But uh. Yeah. So. But it stars the vocal cords of Spider Man and Star Lord as the brothers. Spider Man being the younger one, of course. And uh. So, and I thought they had, they seemed to have pretty good chemistry with their voices. I mean, <laughs> what else can you say about that? I thought the I thought the movie I thought the movie was pretty okay. I mean, it didn't really. <laughs> obviously, it's meant to be more of a kids movie, so it wasn't like I was like, "Ooh, this is amazing," but it uh. Also, another aspect of it, it was, like, really into, like, you know, like those card games, you know, like Magic the Gathering, that sort of game, you know, the, you know, the, the deep fantasy stuff, the, the sort of Dungeons and Dragons vibe sort of thing, and I was never into that, so I literally don't relate to any of that, you know, it's like, and I gotta go on the quest to find the thing, and it's set up like a game, you know. 
that could make this this movie into a video game very easily. <laughs> so, oh. man, I must be more turd than I thought. <laughs> so, but yeah, there's this. Uh, I don't want to give away any spoilers, but it's basically you know you're like your your quest. You have to go. You got to find the map to the thing. You got to go get the thing. There's obstacles. There's puzzles. There's there's end bosses. You know. So <laughs> that's pretty much what it is. But it didn't end the way I thought it would. I won't tell you what ha what happens, but I was I was surprised that it went that way because that's not normally the way movies are set up to go are these days yeah oh i'm super yawny just give me uh some smooth some smooth jazz call me yawny <laughs> but yeah so i don't know i mean we'll see if this one gets a sequel a lot of pixar movies do but uh, or maybe that's just maybe only the Toy Story movies get sequels. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't really thought about it too much. But Disney loves making sequels, so I'd be surprised if they didn't try if this movie does okay. And it was it was entertaining enough. But then again, it really was more for kids and it, it it just it dealt with a lot of stuff that isn't really important to me so i think my my opinion may not be the best judge of this you're going to need someone this movie's made for someone who has a brother a dad that wasn't there and is into you know fantasy board games and card games <laughs> so but uh, I thought it was decent made, and I thought it was funny. So, I guess that's all I got to say about Onward, the movie. Maybe you like it. Maybe you won't. I don't know. <laughs>